Good evening everyone, Black Octagon again. Welcome to the video review of the Overlord Mice. Yeah! Yeah, we'll turn that off now. Welcome. I'm going to do a review of all three mice uh, at once just uh, to save time and effort. I don't know a whole lot about mice, so this is not going to be as technical or as uh, uh, detailed or even as useful as the uh, Overlord Tempest uh, monitor review, but I'm going to try and handle them all in one go. Um, on the website, you've all seen Overlord's put up three new mice for sale. Um, Two gaming mice on the left here, Coast Shark killing, killing the Soul, and more of a multi-purpose mouse, Ogre the Soul, which can go Ogre Soul, which can go between uh, mice mode and kind of general multimedia. Um, prices range from twenty-four bucks to thirty-five bucks, um, so very affordable. If you can afford to spend money on a you know fourteen forty p. 27 inch IPS to screen, even a non-overclockable one, you can afford to spend this much on a mouse, so stop being tight and buy one. Um, the question is, which one do you get? Which one is for you? They're all pretty similar. Both, uh, All three go basically up to 2000 DPI, which is the only real spec you need to know about. They are capable of awesome smoothness, just like any other respectable gaming mouse. Um, I'm going to shortcut it for you and basically say, if you're feeling like being, um, you know, indulgent, want something that's nice and shiny and full of unnecessary features, uh, or you consider yourself a hardcore gamer, go the Ghost Shark, all right? It's a bit more expensive than the others, but it's awesome. Uh, if you want to be a bit more sensible about things, you can also go for Killing the Soul. Um, the Yoga Soul I do like, however, what I'm going to tell you straight away, um, I wouldn't use it if I was, um, uh, you know, a really... Uh, enthusiastic gamer. I would only really use it more as a general purpose mouse or for playing uh, lighter uh, you know, games like RTSs for example. But there you go, there's the three up there on the website and we've got them here in person. I'm running the Ghost Shark right now just because it's the only one which has these awesome little funky light thingies which are totally unnecessary but totally cool at least for the first uh, few weeks as far as I can tell. Um, and then um, um, the, the other two, and what I've got on the far right here is the uh, my trusty Logitech MX518 which I've been using for a few years now and I've absolutely loved it. It actually has a slightly lower DPI than the rest. This one only goes up to 1800, um, so the overall ones are slightly higher. I'm going to cut short, you know, these are all very, very smooth mice. You know, they are more than powerful enough of really zipping around a 120 hertz uh, overclock display and of course a 60 hertz one as well. So this is all going to focus less on the um, uh, the tech specs uh, and just more on the subjective stuff like how they feel in the hand and how they look. Um, first up, just with these other two that aren't connected here, they are more or less the same uh, size as your conventional mouse from Logitech or whoever. Uh, fit very nicely in the hand, really fit in the entire hand. Uh, everyone's hands are different. I've got more the kind of hairy, stubby hobbit hands. Uh, some of you guys, especially in places where they have lots of growth hormones in the chicken, like United States, uh, might find that your hands are big and gangly and go over the top of these things. Uh, that's why you have, uh, with the Ghost Shark range, a, uh, a mouse which is actually a little bit bigger than uh, your conventional one. I don't know if you can see that or if I'm going to, you know, artificially exaggerate the differences in size here by the way I'm using the camera. But this is actually um, noticeably bigger than your standard mouse. Perhaps interesting for those of you who have um, slightly bigger hands. Uh, my hands aren't particularly big but I really do like uh, having a larger uh, mouse just because it has all these extra little uh, grooves and everything and places where you can rest your fingers and really control what you're doing. Uh, I'm since I bought all three, I'm basically going to keep the Ghost Shark to go with my Tempest. I'm going to uh, use the Ogre Soul um, uh, as my new uh, uh, mouse for work, and I'm going to use my old Logitech just with my work laptop, and I'm going to give the Killing the Soul to a mate. Um, but basically, um, um, very, very happy with all of them. Uh, where are we going to go? Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about comparing the uh, Ghost Shark with Killing the Soul, because those two are pretty... Um, um, similar in that they both are clearly gaming mice. Um, Ghost Shark, as I said, a bit bigger, has these funky lights, lots of bling factor. Uh, killing the Soul is every bit as functional, just without that extra bling. It's a normal size mouse, no crazy lights, doesn't actually come with the, um, the configuration software, which you um, 
which you're basically, uh, you basically probably already know about from uh, the video that uh, Scrooby did on it. So this is only for the Ghost Shark, not for the others. But still very, very uh, functional by itself. Um, both of them have the same kind of uh, setup. I'm going to see if I can stop like shaking this camera around so much. Uh, you know, they've got the standard scroll wheel. They've got this button in the middle for changing the DPI. Um, double click forward and back for your um, uh, use in web browsers and these nice little grooves for resting your hands. Um, very, very standard. I think they fit awesomely in the hand. I love the, um, um, just the general way that w which the curves are done. And um, but as I said, the, the one thing I really like about the Ghost Shark is it has not just this thumb rest on the left here, which is pretty standard on mice these days, but also a little rest here. I don't know if you can see it for this uh, finger, the one next to your pinky. So you really have uh, your thumb resting here. You have your uh, other, whatever it's called, finger resting here. And you really can almost squeeze the mouse uh, between the two fingers to control what it's doing. So that's one uh, other difference from killing the soul. Um, so that's the, basically the kind of stuff you're paying for with the few extra dollars that the Ghost Shark costs. Uh, as I said, the killing the soul is still very, very good. Um, certainly if you're on a budget, do get that one instead. Ogre Soul is a bit more of a conventional one, uh, even less uh, blingy to look at. Um, very similar in some ways to my uh, old Logitech and looks more like a conventional mouse. So you, you know, if you're thinking of buying one of these and you want to use it at work or take it to work meetings and so forth, uh, you know, you can be a, a bit of a badass and like bring this kind of stuff up as you're sort of, you know, presenting quarterly results to the board. Um, but if you want to keep your job, maybe you um, should, uh, you know, uh, cut your hair and, and, and use the Ogre Soul instead. Uh, perfectly functional. Even, as I said, even this one does go up to 2000 DPI, so perfectly acceptable for gaming, um, but doesn't really contain any of those advanced um, um, uh, features like, um, you know, um, uh, software or uh, a double click or, or anything like that. It's more just a conventional mouse. Um, I have to say, as much as I like this, one thing I did find about it which was um, not a big deal but uh, just worth pointing out. I've got a wooden desk with a mouse mat, a, a Razer Goliathus, uh, which I use the mouse mat for pretty much everything, but you know, with a uh, mouse uh, like a uh, Ghost Shark or um, you see that moving around there? Ghost Shark or Logitech. It really doesn't matter whether I'm using the mouse mat or the desk. With the Ogre Soul, however, at least on a wooden desk, I found that it wasn't moving at all. So I needed to be on a mat. Um, that's perhaps worth keeping in mind uh, if you um, want to buy a mouse and take it around, uh, uh, you know, with a laptop to use on a variety of different surfaces. Or it could have just been me having bad luck, but I thought I'd point that out. And the other thing about the Ogre Soul, um, see, see, these two, the gaming ones, have a kind of combination of shiny surfaces and these matte plastic. The Ogre Soul is pretty much just shiny plastic, which, you know, is also very nice, but I did find that after prolonged uh, periods with it, it was starting to get very clammy, my hands were starting to result in lots of uh, uh, humidity, condensation, you know, sweat, whatever the technical word is, building up on there, which is a little bit gross, um, but that's possibly... Uh, tells you more about me than it does about the mouse. Didn't have that problem at all on the uh, the other two or on the Logitech. Um, yeah, what else is there to tell you guys? Um, these three, you know, as I said, I told you the price range, pretty much comparable the, um, right up to the, the, the Logitech which I uh, had. Logitech was a, a very good mouse I found out. I bought it at a time when I just sort of read a review and picked it up and since found out it was actually one of the you know nicest mice uh, ever as far as gaming people are concerned. I didn't even uh, know that. But I'm happy to say that these uh, three mice from Overlord, even though they're from a, basically a Chinese supplier I've never heard of, uh, certainly live up in the performance department to these. And um, yeah, certainly encourage any of you considering to, uh, to, to go for these mice. Do check them out. They're very reasonably priced and uh, I certainly don't regret my purchase one bit. Final thing I will say, I'm not going to go through this uh, software because uh, Scribby's already got a video up on the uh, uh, Overlord YouTube page about it. I will just say though, and again, I don't know if this is me, when I hooked up the uh, Ghost Shark, and I have my Logitech installed, the Ghost Shark actually didn't work unless I installed this software. I was under the impression that this kind of thing is just a kind of optional extra that you know you don't really need. Uh, you can do it if you like. In my case, I found I had to obviously uninstall the Logitech software, but I also had to manually install this software using another mouse connected and then restart the computer before the Ghost Shark worked. That could have just been my own retardedness, but um, that is something to keep in mind. Very straightforward, of course, but the software comes on a little uh, 
It's not a full-size disc, guys. That's one of those little mini half discs that probably have a name I should know about. Um, very, very straightforward, but just in case you don't have a conventional uh, CD drive, you can't even see that, can you? You know, just with the, the, the inner rings. I'm not 100% sure if little discs like this uh, will fit inside uh, uh, slot drives. So if any of you are using them and need the drivers, I'm sure Scooby won't mind if we put uh, the software up on the website. But basically, yeah, they're mice. They work, they're awesome, no complaints whatsoever. Glad to have done a little guinea pig experiment here. Um, I'm going to use the Ghost Shark to go with my Tempest, use a couple of the other ones to go with work computer and laptop, and give one of them uh, to a lucky friend who was uh, too much of a wuss to order from the United States. Any questions, guys? As always, hit us up on the Overlord forums or on the YouTube comments. Very happy to answer any questions and um, uh, yeah, yeah, basically tell you anything uh, you want to know. Um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and we will see you next time. Black Octagon signing off. Bye.